Okay. If you're a couple, they separate the men and the women. They'll have women treatment and men treatment for connection. To, um, shelters, right? Uh-huh. But they don't have them for like couples. They act like couples can't live, you know, homeless in shelters together. They have to separate them. The vets do the same thing. They they wouldn't give me a HUD badge because she's not a vet. They wouldn't give me transitional housing because she's not a vet. But they'll give it to me, but I can't leave her out here. So what do you think about the people who say that um, that people without homes want to be homeless? We don't want to be homeless. They, now, I know there are people out there that they like being freedom and they're a little nuts in the head. Well, she's got schizophrenia. So, I have to take care of her. Oh, she's right there. I was wondering where you... Okay, she's over there. Okay. She's yes, right there. I can't leave her by herself. People who want to be homeless, most of them have other problems. Right, right. right. But the ones that are out here, we can't get nothing because people... If you're alone, it's easy. If you're together... You can't do nothing. So what? So what options? Like what services are available to you that you could like? Not I can go to the vets. Uh huh. And they'll put me in like a twenty-two day shelter. Okay. But then what? And she's stuck out here. So what? Ha so if the, if you if you were in the twenty-two day shelter, what happens after you leave the shelter? I'm right back out here. So what kind of things would you like to see happen? I'm wondering if there could be a shelter where couples, now we're not married, but I know married couples can't stay together. Right? Really? Right. And, you know, if they could do like shelters for couples, because to be separated out here, one of us, it's, it's not right. Have you seen, do you have a cell phone? Yeah. Okay. Do you see, have you seen like, um, I got one of those uh, government phones. Oh, no, free. that's fine. No, I was just wondering, um, like, in certain cities, they have um, tiny home communities. Tiny homes. You can't camp here in the city. I know. I know. And I've seen um, the big gate that they've put around the Coliseum uh, to keep the people out. Yeah, we had a friend of ours, the woods girl, they was camping over here, and the said, go camp in the woods. <laughs> it's horrible. I know. So if you could, if you could um, have it your way and build your own type of system to uh, help people, what would you like to see happen? I would like to see a place where the people who run it focus on what the person needs, not what they think they need. Mm. Because see, a lot of people go in these places and they do all these classes and all this, saying this will get you. And then when your time's up, you're out on the street. And they never go like, what do you need? Let's go get it. They right. never do that. Right. Um, I've only had one veteran advocate about eight or nine years ago do that for me. She was the only one. I said what I need and boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Everybody else. I even had one tell me, just tell them what they want to hear. <laughs> of <like>, course. <laughs> Don't tell me what I want to hear. Tell me if you can or you cannot. Can I get your name? Uh, my name is Chris. Chris. And how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? 55. 55. And so you are a, you are a veteran. What service? Uh, what, what, U.S. Army. And how long were you in the Army? Three years. Okay. All right. 3rd, 19th Mechanized Infantry and 1st, 17th Mechanized And why? You were a Ranger? I was a Ranger, but I got a TBI. To, uh, I had a bad jump and got a... Uh, a concussion? Traumatic brain Something, injury. A brain injury. Okay. Wow. The last job I worked for was a VA, but apparently I have a reality dysfunction. Uh-huh. So people don't understand me. And some things that I think are real, <laughs> are, they tell me are not real. Such as? There was just a, I see a lot of craziness go on, right? Yeah. And when I went to my boss, she said, well, maybe you should resign. Oh. Instead of help. Oh, okay. Right? Which made me think maybe things weren't going on. But I talked to other people. And yeah, everything I was seeing was going on. But they always tell me that I'm not seeing reality right now. Can you give me an example? I lose time. I call it losing time. It's like I'm 
somebody and things happen. And then two months later, it's like I wake up and people say I did all this stuff and I don't remember. Wow. So wow. It's, it's weird. And she's schizophrenic. She got 13 voices. And me being kind of mental, I can deal with her. Well, I'm not mental as in. Yeah. I just got, I got a brain dysfunction. And I know it's from that TBI. So when is the last time that you did have a job? Uh, 2017, I worked for the Veterans Hospital. And when was the last time you had your own place? <laughs> 2017. So... What would what do you what would benefit you you personally right now the most? Hey, keeping her safe. That's it. And my whole life right now is keeping her safe. And people don't understand us. So when I go talk to people and I t- tell her about her because she's been kicked out of shelters and psych wards because of her disability. Right, right. And my whole life has occurred now. And how long have y'all been together? It'd be like a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's her name? Jessica. And you're Chris? Yeah. Okay, Chris. I'm going to get your phone number. Um, and You're not going to videotape my phone. No, I'm not. Uh, but I just want everybody to know who's watching this that I did ask for your permission to record you, okay? All right.